Okay, now please come to questions 10 to 13. Questions 10 to 13. Okay, listen, there is one more thing. When you are doing IELTS reading, sometimes this happens that one of the passages is really difficult and other passages are easy. Now, the level of difficulty depends on you. For example, someone is a biologist, someone studied about biology, genes and all that. For him or her, first passage will be easier. Right? Now, the second passage is introduction to film sound. Someone who is interested in movies, someone who watches movies, and he, uh, someone who watches the making. Have you seen the making of the movies sometimes on YouTube? They show us the shooting, recording, and all that. For him, second passage is going to be easier. So, otherwise, uh, the passages are not difficult. It's the question type that makes it difficult. For example, with one passage, they give you which paragraph contains the following information. Then they give you uh, words where you got to match or they give you list of headings. So the questions themselves can make something complicated. Otherwise, passages are fine. Let's do this question now, 10 to 13. Complete the summary using the list of words A to F. Now, listen, please. The first thing is whenever there is summary completion, Questions and answers are highly likely to be in order. I'm not using the word always in order. I'm saying highly likely because I have solved some tests from Cambridge books where they are in the same paragraph but before or after. Aage piche ho sakte hai, location ek hi hogi in summary completion. And sometimes they give you two summaries, three summaries. For two, three summaries, you have to go to separate locations of the passage. Right? Now, let's see. Epigenetic processes, first of all, we need to see where do they talk about epigenetic processes. Uh, it's the same paragraph, uh, second page, second paragraph. So that is the location and from there onwards, you will find the answers. Now listen, sometimes all the answers are in one paragraph. Sometimes they are scattered. Okay, so let's see how they are. In epigenetic processes... Dash influences the activity of our genes. Now look here. Dash influences the activity of our gene. Just add there what. What influences the activity of our gene. Ab jaage dhoonde. Kaun si cheez hai. Jo influence karti hai the activity of our genes. Okay. Please come to this paragraph. Second page. Second paragraph. From the middle. These reactions. Found it. These reactions influence how our genetic code is expressed. How our genetic code is expressed. So they said these reactions influence uh, how our genetic code is expressed, how each gene is strengthened or weakened, even turned on or off to build our bones, brains and all parts of our body. Now listen, if you start this from the beginning, they use the word epigenetic processes are chemical reactions. What are they? They are chemical reactions. So if you come back here, in epi uh, epigenetic process, dash influences the activity of our genes. So what influences? They are chemical reactions. Option D and the word is chemicals, absolutely. Chemicals influence the activity of our genes. Isko ja ke repeat zaroor ki jega. Chemicals influence the activity of our genes. And for chemicals, they use the word chemical. Okay, let's go on. Question number 11. Uh, basically, it's the same sentence which continues. For example, in creating our internal dash, now internal dash, some part of body or something like that, internal dash. Read on. They use the word bones. Okay, bones. Same paragraph, second last line, even turned on or off to build our bones. Now, bones are our internal organs well done clear bones ki jagah pe word aa gaya organs bones are internal organs yeah haddi nazar nahi aati okay naak ki to nazar aati hai okay so the answer is yeah organs but you will write b on your answer sheet 
Okay, then there is the full stop. And by the way, if there are two blanks in one sentence, then the answers are going to be together in one line or two lines. Then we've got the full stop. The study of epigenetic processes is uncovering a way in which our genes can be affected by our something. Our genes can be affected by our something. So they say epigenetic process is uncovering a way which our genes can be affected by our. Let's go on. Paragraph number four. Absolutely. You're right. Very good. One way. Found it? Okay. Same page. Paragraph number four. One way the study of epigenetics is revolutionizing our understanding of biology is by revealing a mechanism by which the environment directly impacts on genes. Environment directly impacts on genes. So let's come back. Environment directly affects on genes. And they say affected by our environment. Very good. Environment affects, affected by environment. So the answer is environment and they've given the word exactly the same. So for question number 12, answer is E. Yeah, sugar kare, mushkil wala test aage. Asan wale mein kya seekhenge? Yeah, isko practice ki jiega. If it, it goes nasty, IELTS reading sometimes goes very nasty. It can be something like this. Okay? Yeah. Okay, question number 13. One example is that if a pregnant rat suffers stress, the newborn rat may later show problems in its... <laughs> Absolutely right. Okay? So sometimes it gets Okay? Alright. So let's find it. Let's find it. Please come to the word rats. Yeah, it's one, two, three, fourth paragraph. Fourth paragraph. And they're using the word rats. For example, have shown that when a rat experiences stress. Mil gaya sabko? Mil gaya? Okay. When a rat experiences stress during pregnancy, it can cause uh, epigenetic changes in a fetus. Fetus is that baby that leads to behavioral problems. Okay. Behavioral problems are actually behavior or F is the right answer. Huh. Okay. Yeah. 